Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. In order to do that, we have to recognize that people do go through changes. They do go through transitions. They do do things to find a way to make themselves more happy, peaceful, and content instead of always raging. We also have to accept that in America, we have a lot of job attrition, a lot of people changing positions, a lot of companies having challenges with retention. And when I talk like this, I'm trying to remind you not of alliteration, but of the facts of life in America. The facts of life in America today is not everyone has the marvelous job in which they can stay for 8, 10, and 20 plus years. My late father worked for many, many years, and I think almost 42 years, at his General Electric company. When I reached out to GE to try to get a job or to find out if they could help me to get a job, I literally got no response. Can you believe that? My old man worked at GE 42 years and not one person in their social media department could pass my information along to HR and I even reached out to HR through LinkedIn and not one person responded to me. Or, is it possible that we're being lied to by certain constructs of social media and that the freeware of social media is not going anywhere, which basically means that we're somewhat being discriminated against if we don't have the cash to play. I have long known that social media has become a pay-to-play market space, that in theory, if you pay more, then you get more capabilities, and that is natural to any type of technology tool, especially our cell phones. But at the same time, we have certain laws that are being questioned by people like me and other journalists and other opinionists and other columnists inquiring whether or not what's going on in companies and in local employee groups is a form of discrimination or possibly a form of, and I don't think sanctioning is right, but monitoring is openly right. And that's what I'm talking about.